Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where, well, I'm basically doing the same kind of scenario I did for the last video. Except, I wanted to do the same idea with Austria Hungary. Build battleship, battlecruiser, heavy cruiser, as if I was designing them for the campaign. Go up against some Germans. Uh, a bit of a Teutonic. Enough. So, what do we get? The modern, a modernized dreadnought, or a modern battleship for Austria-Hungary? Interesting. Um, oh my word! Interesting options. I, I do love the triangular tower, though. Tell you what, Darth Vader, you're in the chat. <laughs> The the triangular tower is not as good. <laughs> I, I'd argue that the modern tower is one. It's probably your best choice. But would you prefer to see the triangular three? <laughs> yeah, it is better with the triangle tower. You're absolutely right. Let's go for the triangle three. Um, and... Okay, uh, so the reason, Toby, I'm looking at Austria-Hungary, Italy, and France today is because um, they, well, at the time of recording, they've not been announced officially, but they are because they're in the in the game. Uh, they're going to be the next three ships in the campaign. So, uh, and the 1930 campaign is my favourite era uh, to do. Um, so that's where that's that's why I'm. That's why I'm doing it. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Yuck. Um, ooh, that's actually better. Nice. Go for that one, then. Bonus points. It doesn't look horrible. Um, now, then. I yeah, I really liked to go in turbo electric, actually. Last time it, it gave us a lot of options. Uh, probably a single f or not? Yeah, single funnel build. No, still got loads left. Yeah, I could do a double funnel if I want. Damn. Uh, da yeah, damn. All right. What about? I'm just trying to get them roughly level. Damn. No, I couldn't do it with forced. I could do it with naturals though. I could do that arrangement with a natural boiler. Ooh, how fast can you go on a natural boiler? Uh, yes. <laughs> 30 knots very nice <laughs> but uh, yeah I might, I might want to increase the size but I don't know 66,000 tons is already pretty chunky I might stick with that um, I am Toby yes and th that was in the 103 beta update today that Fra th there are options when you kick new campaign France, Italy, Austria-Hungary um, and yeah, diplomacy and all the rest of it should be coming with that as well. Um, so uh, I don't know if that was a mistake though, because I think that was going to be for one, one oh four or one oh five. Um, but they, they they were definitely talking about it. Thirty oh uh, yeah, thirty knots for a uh, modern battleship, nineteen thirty. Very nice. That that gives you to spooky kind of speed that because. I mean, if such a ship was built uh, in 19... You know, obviously it wouldn't be actually finished in 1930 because it takes years to build it. But, you know, that's as fast as a renowned class battlecruiser, but it's a full battleship. That's 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 pretty nice. Right. Um, Gun-wise, yeah, we're going to go being... Try and go with the 16s. And I'm wondering if, like the Italian... Yes. 
it wants to have twin turrets. Nope. I know Darth Venar will approve of that. Um... Oh, yes. Huh. Very nice. Yep. Get behind that. Um, secondary is just... Pro no, it's a six-inch gun mount. What about a seven? Nope. Still, though, nine six-inch guns uh, on each side. That's a pretty good secondary armament, from my point of view. Uh, oh, three-inch guns do fit there, but only there. Or two-inch, so I'll just go two-inch. Very light tertiary battery, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah, this is the hull where you can fit. Yes. <laughs> Guns in the funnels. Uh, but not that funnel, apparently, because you're not allowed to have fun. What? Why? Oh, is it these guns that are causing the problem? Mm. Oh, come on, game. Oh, it was those ones. There we go. Okay. I can deal with only one set of guns not being allowed. Um, do 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 do. Yeah, no, I know. I, re I, re I, I want to do uh, the, the full campaign going from 1890 to 19... Uh, well, 40 plus. It's going to be really exciting. I'm actually curious what causes the game... Like, what causes the campaign to end? Um, like, is there a victory condition or something? Uh, or... You know, is it kind of a accumulation of naval... Uh, I'm just... I'm really curious... Again, uh, for much the same reason I did on the Italian builds, I'm going to go maximum range, standard bulk kids, because I find that's really effective in the campaign. I'm going to go anti torpedo 5 for triple bottom, triple bottom hulls, so that we don't die to endless AI torpedo spam. Uh, yeah, chew powder, super heavy, radar, ooh, Gen 2, very nice. And you're like, oh, he's overweight. And the 18, 9, with a 16, 8. And splinter protection everywhere else works absolutely fine for me. Total convert. Because I'm at 102, which, you know, I'm a little bit over. But I reckon we can. Uh, I reckon we can fix it. Uh, I mean, it could reduce range to sixteen. L, uh, what? Uh, one hundred and eleven. Then I only have two hundred tons to take off. Uh, I do, of course, have more displacement without uh, losing too much engine efficiency. I don't want to go up to the biggest size, though. Yeah. Do lose a bit of engine efficiency. But I'd be... Uh, I'm, no, no, I'm underweight if I do that. Can I go all the way to... Max range? I could. And then reduce the... Hmm... It's very close. 97.6% engine efficiency is fine. Let's go to 70 to 20. So, 17 to 
30. Getting, getting that. Ah, oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> that's, that's bang on. There you go. Um, now I just I need to fix the offset. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hey, Pretorianus. Um, I missed a bit of chat there. Let me go back a bit. All right, welcome back, paramedic. Uh, yeah, we did. We did the Jap uh, We did the uh, Italian ships. Yeah, I know. I know you. You like uh, super firing uh, guns. Uh, super firing secondary. Yeah, uh, Britain bought sixteen-inch guns, but no, no armor. <laughs> um, yes, it is meant to be a campaign ship. So if you're do, if you're doing campaign ships and custom battles, remember that this uh, price includes crew. So you'd you want to take off the crew. So if campaign, this would be two eight eight, which is, which is pushing it. <laughs> you know, it is pushing it. But, uh, you know, uh, 288, I mean, you usually start 1930 campaign with a billion plus pounds or dollars or whatever it is. So, you know, we're talking probably, what, one or two of these, um, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to go completely nuts on it. Oh, now I've got an half. Oh, I have an half? I, it's me moving everything back, and I've got a bloody halfway offset. Oh. Piss off. Oh, I hate it when the game does that. It's so annoying. Devs, please. Please, for the love of God, like, if parts are attached to each other, make them stick to each other properly, rather than... Because you, you have to do all this again. It's a pain in the effing backside, right. <sighs> I'm not going to bother putting them up in the funnels, because I'll just... I'll just break everything again. Uh, still an halfway offset, right? Okay. Still, an, it does not look like that has an halfway. Oh, mind you, it's probably this uh, second funnel. That's uh, causing a lot of the offset. Still, don't you still what? Ooh, that would fix it. <laughs> uh, so at least I know I'm close to fixing it. There, fixed. A little bit of a gap. But uh, barely noticeable. Uh, any ideas? The Francis. Oh, it's kind of a French name. Any uh, n uh, name ideas for names, chat? Yeah, 288 393 if you are building this in the campaign. Um, which is expensive. But uh, yeah, you shouldn't need too many of these. Yeah, guns deep inside the citadel, definitely. Uh, it's hard to... T I can't ex tell exactly on this hull where the extended begins, but I think it's somewhere around here. The Teuton. Done. Okay. Battlecruiser. Uh, why... 
Use the Teuton. Silly thing. Right. I'm going to press new design, isn't it? It's because uh, when you do it in the campaign, that's how you do it. Right. Um, modern battle cruiser time. Um... The Utzold Friedrich. Now, oh, you get those towers. Curious. Very curious. Um, gonna end up being the Italian one if I do that. <laughs> so let's go with this tower. Go for the top end tower. And how big was the Teuton? 70,000. Let's go for another big boy then. Um, mm, Fifty. Uh, yeah, I'm light. Something like that. Near the top, near the spotlight at the front. Yeah. You use the torpedo bulge. It's pretty hard to see the torpedo bulge on this thing. I mean, I know where it is if you could see the... Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the, the master system diagram. The thing that normally appears up here when you're doing a battle. Because it's the front and rear... Well, fore and aft most two compartments... Um, just yeah, the, the these German the, or Germanic hulls that taper quite quite a lot, like they're quite wide in the middle and then they taper. Like I, ge I genuinely don't know. I mean, it could be here. This this line probably does represent the belt because that's what that line is <laughs> in real life. So this is probably the end of the belt right here. Would be my guess. Um. Anyway. Uh. You, my interesting friend, I th yes, you're going to be a reverse renown. <laughs> yes, excellent. Right, um, go turbo electric. Turbo electric is very expensive, by the way, which is why the ships are expensive. You should probably go double kit steam turbines in the campaign. Um, they are they are so much cheaper, but uh, turbo electric is just really nice. Loads of like th that uh, engine weight reduction, acceleration, deceleration, turning rate, all super super helpful. Um, again, I might, I might be able to do a double funnel here. No, why do you? Let, yeah, there we go. Holy, holy hell. I could do three funnels. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, two of those don't fit. Which is a shame. But I could do a six. And, uh, hmm. Now this is this is pure aesthetics here. <laughs> yes, do it. So much funnel. Uh, I'm purely thinking aesthetics here, in that that looks nicer than the three funnels. But chat seems to want um, all the all the funnel, which I think is two fours and a six. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. <laughs> For arbitrary speeds, <laughs> probably can max that out. Yep. <laughs> Even on natural boilers? No, not on natural boilers. How fast can we go on a nat naturally aspirated engine? Probably still a stupid speed. 36, I reckon. Damn. That, that. <laughs> sure, go for it. I mean, 36 knots. Perfectly acceptable for a for a battle cruiser, and we save a huge amount of weight doing that. Oh, don't balance it! Don't balance it. Um, right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
and again, yes, I am aware, I am going overweight, but uh, I will fix that later, because we're going to have the exact same armour scheme as the battleship, just like I did with the Italians, because again, it worked. But I am extremely overweight doing it like this. Uh, and I have a little bit of smoke interference. So I will adjust this funnel down. So I have less smoke, and it's also going to save me a little bit of weight. Uh, hmm. Now the question becomes: Now ten percent—that's quite a lot. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, the smoking difference isn't that bad. It's only 2.7% uh, base accuracy. Um, it's just a lot of funnel. Uh, I'm just curious if going for... that option, or... Now, all that's unnecessary. I could go balanced on just the two. Is that lighter or not? 56606. Oh, no. 51603. 51693. So no, it is, it is lighter to do that. Uh, hmm. Something has to go. Uh, it's always interesting when you get that. So, speed I'm happy with. Oh, I'm happy with everything. But, uh, yeah, and there's no secondary armament either, which is a bit of an issue. Mm. Hmm. I'm just wondering if going geared just because it's cheaper and it will ruin my smoke. Just wondering if balanced geared. Yeah. We're going to be way, way cheaper. But we're not going to be as fast. What about forced? Hmm. No. Definitely balanced is the way to go. But we'd only be able to get up to. No, that's going to be much slower. Hmm. And if I force it... Yeah, I can't bring any, any of those at all. Hmm. Yeah, that would drop me down to about 31 knots, which... Yeah, there's no point at that point. Turbo electric with two funnels. Let's me get to it's on balance boilers, by the way. Yeah, pretty much any speed I want. But on naturals... Yeah, that would be the three. Three of them option. Ah, god damn. Because that 36 knots, that's, that's nice. That's really nice. Uh... 
Two triple main guns uh, was probably going to weigh more. Um, if I keep the armor the same, because there's no barbette involved here. Because they are they are a lot heavier. Um. Plus, I don't don't like that layout as much. Uh, no, yeah, you're right, philosopher. The, the what what the game says here doesn't line up at all. You kind of have to click around and poke about a bit. Um, well, I mean, does range make a significant difference? Yeah, it does. Okay, we'll drop the range down to standard. We'll go down to a double bottom hole. And enter torpedo three, and we're good. <laughs> you know, fairly simple, and I will just reduce the displacement to get our engine efficiency up a little bit. Uh, let's go to forty-six six thirty. That's fine. 46 That's pretty close. Uh, let's just try and fix the offset a little bit. Nope. Uh, a bit more on the tower. Nope. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Finessed. Just need to fix that offset, which I could probably do pretty easily. Teeny bit of a four weight offset, actually. I just want to ring this gun back. There we go. Done. Uh, now, this in the campaign costs you 175 million for six 16 inch guns going at 36 knots. Pretty well protected. Anti torpedo is not as good, though. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 uh, any ideas for a name, chat? Or are we happy with it's all Friedrich? I'll move on to the heavy cruiser. That was a long time filling around with engines. <laughs> no, my word. Habsburg, done. <sighs> cruiser. Cruiser, 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 cruiser. Uh, we've got the one or the two. The one is the one with the uh, light cruiser towers. So, no. I don't like that one. Heavy cruiser two. Uh, oh, I, think I, I think I might go for the the best, the best tower. Let's make this a this a chunky boy. Um, again, <laughs> mainly because the Ger these German towers especially take up so much room, it is unbelievable. Do 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 do. Tiny Bismarck. Yep. Do you want a raider or a pocket battleship? Uh, I I'm not sure, actually. Uh, we'll basically just see what we get <laughs> as I build it. Um, probably not, but definitely not what you should do. Um, again, let's stick with the turbo electrics. Go balanced. So we're only fitting one funnel on this thing. Um, 
to oof, that dropped off quickly. Um, Thirty-five knots. That's very respectable. I mean, that's not quite as fast as the Habsburg, but uh, pretty good. Definitely fast enough to fill in as a raider. Well, one thing about the Habsburg I, I do now realise is I never put secondary guns on it. So if you're screaming at me about the secondary guns, I do apologise. Um, 11 inch Mark 4s, 10 inch Mark 5, so probably 10 inch guns. 10s or 9s. Please fit 10s. Yeah. Okay. I prefer the triples, but that's... Ah, oh, no, I know about this this hull. It's really hard to fit a... I mean, you can put it there, but that I'm pretty sure that's sitting outside the belt by quite a lot. So I actually like running ships like this <laughs> on this hull. Although this looks a little weird. Um, you can be our secondary gun carrying platform. Four inch. Some two inch. There we go. And we'll bring... Well, actually, let's not bring on the waters. Because we can bring... Uh, yeah, we can bring deck launchers. Yeah, there we go. Eight torpedo tubes on the back. You're right, uh, paramedic. <laughs> Super funnel. No, no, no. Uber funnel, my friend. Uber funnel looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I like that for this hole. Putting two torpedo... Could have torpedo launches here and a, and putting the gun up on the, the bar. It, it, it's not ideal. It looks a bit it looks a bit weird, but it works. I'm aware that this video is probably extremely long already. Torps. Uh, single shot. And I'm massively overweight. Because <laughs> of course I am. Uh, championship's so heavy. It's unreal. Um, armor. Six, ten, five. Well, wow. there's the armor up the deck and more. <laughs> and the superstructure armor is terrible. Uh, why is it so bad? Um, damn. Yeah, that's not everything I want, but way overweight. Way overweight. Bugger. Um, remove the torpedo. Uh, I could do. Doesn't help with my weight much. I mean, I might have to with uh, the whole four weight offset issue. Um, thanks for the hydrate. Hey, Shmoo. No, no, not. This is custom battle. And uh, no, 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 no. yeah, it's really, really heavy. This thing. I mean, going down to a smaller one, we can save yeah about five hundred tons. And if we get secondary mm, to match, again, probably a few hundred tons. All right, interesting option. Cheap towers. <laughs> oh, it looks so much better as well. Yes, totally agree. Get 
get the small towers. Also means get rid of the torp, torp launchers completely. Because we could do 10 inch jewels. And see, I'm underweight now. Uh, although I haven't put the armor up on the turrets. And then I could just fit it with underwaters. Which I tend to prefer anyway. And we're good, pretty much. Obviously I've got a full weight offset again, but uh, that's that's a lot more reasonable. Uh, let's just go what, double bottom hull instead? Yeah, that would do it. Uh Use it own, only <laughs> 60 tons. Take a little bit off the decks. Put them back to the 0.8 they were at. There we go. Yeah, done. Mm. Oh, yeah, I need a fucking funnel. <laughs> Chat probably screaming at me about it. Is it the Uber Funnel 1 that I put on? Yeah, I'm overweight now. <laughs> uh, no, it must have been the two. No, it was the one. Oh, I have lower engine efficiency, so I'm going to reduce speed to 34 knots. It also saves a bit of weight. And... Maybe I will go with that double bottom hull instead. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Swearing at the uh, IT. Yeah, but I, I know that pain, uh, paramedic. <laughs> mm. 3%. There, yeah, let's go down to the double bottom hole and drop the torpedo protection down to 4. Uh, that gives us a little bit of weight to play with. Uh wondering if that... No, that actually makes it worse. Uh, but I could bring a reload for the torps. Oh yeah, these aren't armoured up again, are they? That'll be where the extra weight needs to go. Thought I was doing rather well. Um, I do that on superstructure armour? Probably not. Mm, might have to go down to anti torp 3 like the battle cruisers. Yeah, we'll do that. And then try and balance the ship. can have a, a gap. I know gaps are supremely ugly. Um, I'd rather not have a gap. There we go. I can at least make the gap smaller. Right. Some guns have poor sector of fire. Well, I don't care about that. Right. There we go. The uh, Vorarlberg. Vorarlberg. No, I'm, I much prefer this to the, the previous one that I had. Looks much nicer. Um, should be a bit more effective as well. The Hawthy, done. Okay, let's have a look at the enemy. Uh, what do they get to come up with? Now, Germans. Uh, I hate the heavy cruiser 2 for the Germans. Uh, let's give them an advanced armor cruiser 2. Uh, how big was our cruiser? 
19,500, so that's what they're going to get. Go. It's a bit of an offset. Um, and they've got a bit of engine efficiency problems. But uh, otherwise, she's not too bad. I, mean, I think probably just moving the tower back a little bit and dealing with this nonsense should fix it up a fair amount. Get rid of that pointless 2-inch gun. Yeah, 0.8. Probably balance it out with this. Fix it for you. Um... They got a seasoned crew. Few, oh, Jesus. AI makes such peculiar choices sometimes. Fucking hell. <laughs> what is with it? An armor? God damn. That's a light. That's, that's pathetic. That's absolutely pathetic. Oh well. Um, <laughs> Battlecruiser. Now, our Battlecruiser was uh, could call it 47,000 tons uh, they get a modern battle cruiser uh, let's give them 49,000 tons to play with they're going to need it <laughs> sorry Shmoo armor is a myth uh no, I, I know exactly the kind of day you're having, paramedic. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Excuse me. Um, yeah, yeah, it, the, we, I might, yeah, do you know what? I've, I've been doing, I was going to do France after this, um, similar style, but let's just have a big, let's just have a big battleship smash up. What the fuck is this? Well, well, it's not the worst armor scheme I've ever seen. It's just, what, what the fuck is that? It's got a four-way offset, by the way, this thing. Right, that, just, just no. Sorry, but no. Um... So I'm going to have to take these off to move the towers. Uh, I'm not taking them off out of spite. Uh, again, that will have to go. So will that. I think I can move the tower now. No, it's random guns in there for no reason. There we go. We're getting there. Oh, now it's an halfway offset again. <laughs> I wonder why. Should be uh, very fixable, though. There you go. Right, there's a slightly more sensible ship for you, AI. Uh, let's give you your six-inch guns back. Oh yeah, that's going to completely fuck up the balance, isn't it? Never mind. Uh, no six-inch guns for you. Uh, you get... You can go slower for a start. So your engine efficiency isn't quite as terrible. 34 knots, I think, is fine. Uh, you can have more bulkheads and more range. Standard crew. Uh, you 
you do all right that's okay auto loading that's pretty that's pretty good um what else is lacking on this again i could i could completely try and mess around with the smoke interference but it's okay uh, yeah it really is secondary guns isn't it it will fit fives in the cutouts But, uh, yeah, I just don't want to have to rebalance the ship. Um, more range. Yeah, there you go. You can have more range. Cool. Let's have a look at the battleship. Uh, now, we were on... What were we on? 70,000. Uh, so no super in fact no super battleships in 1930 that's ridiculous uh, you can have a maximum displacement modern battleship too go oh my goodness me <laughs> damn <laughs> Again, with the four weight offset, which is probably mostly the secondary guns. They can fuck off. Right. Um, there you go. <laughs> it's fixed. <laughs> uh, might get rid of that. Because they're stupid. I know it's making the four weight offset problem worse, but... I'm sure I can get rid of something else completely pointless like this. There you go. <laughs> Oh my word, game. Uh, smoke's fine. This is not. You need a, you need a bit more range than that, mate. That's it's not acceptable. Uh, but you can't afford it, so screw it. I'll I'll leave that as it is. How much did they spend on that? Two hundred and twenty million. Damn. Well. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't want them with super veteran crew. They can have a season crew, though. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, paramedic. Every, uh, um, everything I'm doing tonight will end up on YouTube. Oh, I didn't look at their armor. <laughs> uh, probably should have done, right? You guys, screen for the battleships, please. Everything else is fine. Which one do we think is the best looking? Personally, I think it's the battleship. Even with the odd towers, I think she looks pretty good. So we've got the Albert and the Teuton. And we have the Habsburg, which... <laughs> Yeah, doesn't look again. Turret, the the funnels being slightly weird. Mm. Reverse renown though, always uh, always an interesting one. And then we got the the, the cruisers, the Hawthy and the Saint Bolton. I think it actually look really nice. They're a really nice looking ship. Seems we're sailing right at the enemy. Yep, there they are. Let's uh, get into line of battle. Well, um, <laughs> it's not me, paramedic. So what I've been doing lately, now that we can control the uh, AI builds, is I've just been going and fixing like really egregious nonsense like uh, huge weight offsets, um, guns getting completely obstructed, just so that when you know you look at them, they don't look completely hideous. <laughs> so their battleships look, you know, they look vaguely all right. Battle cruiser, where is it again? A bit weird. I mean, it's still the AI's weirdness, but it's not like, what are you doing? Is 
if that heavy cruiser is at a full stop? Looks like it is. You don't want to do that. I'll take them ages to get going again. Yeah, the battle cruisers had okay armor. The uh, like the the cruisers have like none. Um, but I don't remember. I didn't look at the I didn't look at the battleship's armor. My apologies. Hmm, partial pen. On the main deck. So the main deck is not nothing. No ideas yet. Now 16, 16 kilometers. Taking a few hits, this thing. I am keeping an eye on, yeah, this nonsense. Huge numbers of ricochets. Uh, yeah, they actually have a normal armor scheme. Sixteen point eight on the main belt. Uh, yeah, perfectly decent. A chance to pen at the moment. Yeah, not not hugely amazing. Some pumpkin. Stop doing that. You're just going to get yourself killed. Get back. There we go, we've got a flooding hit in. Yeah, they're, they're focusing on the heavy cruiser because it's got torpedoes. Launch some torpedoes at the battleships, actually. But I'd rather not have the heavy cruisers blown up for no reason. Because they're running out of hit. Oh, we have Bismarck as well. Bismarck coming in as the lead ship, I think. Hard to tell. They might just have been manoeuvring because of those torpedoes. Oh, good hits. Uh, they got an extra one of those compared to me. How much are they? 304. Compared to our three eight two, so it's pretty even. Oh, Nage, thank you very much for the resub, my friends. I mean, I wouldn't say they they've hacked the the, the triangle. They're only they're twenty six point three knots, um, compared to our thirty. So we we did we definitely have them uh, we definitely have them on speed. 
Habsburg kind of getting itself in a muddle. Cruises well out of it. <laughs> too, too well out of it, I think. It's going to be one of these fights where we're running out of ammunition. It's like we're firing some HE at them. So this is not a good range to engage them at. I don't want to get too close to heavy cruisers. I think we have slightly more pen than them. Because they've got... Uh, no, they've got the same shells. Super heavy tube powders. They have increased ammunition, so pretty nasty. close enough to them and get some good hits in. There we go. I only have a few bulkheads so I might be able to flood them out. Cruises, are you on your way back now? Because you should be. Nope. No, I saw a torpedo warning. I don't know where though. Bloody hard to tell. Oh, they have a rear torpedo launcher. Cute. Probably fired that at the Albert, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Good luck. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Yeah, switch fire to the Bismarck. And Albert, switch fire to the handset. Shoot on. Yeah, just gonna we're just gonna break the formations up. You probably are also best off firing on the handset. Trying to just get some of that firepower out of the way. Also may well be torpedoes in and all way. Yeah. Which I dislike. Ooh, torpedo hit on the West Farland. From whom? Can't tell from that one. Oh, one of their own heavy cruisers. Hilarious. Ooh. Oh, didn't do that much. Thank goodness we have the anti torpedo. Say, 
Why are you not firing? Put a pretty big dent in the handset. Albert is suffering a little bit though. There goes the handset. Right, heavy cruisers are coming back. I might be able to uh, finish off the Bismarck here. If I get lucky. Well, the Habsburg's doing a good job. Oh, that's more like it. Yeah, finally, you're okay. That's a lot of 16-inch guns out of the way. Right, Teuton and Albert. I actually want you to take out the Friedrich de Grosse. If you wouldn't mind. ba -da -da. Thank you again, Nage, for the resub. <laughs> Very kind of you. Yeah, their heavy cruisers are trying to lock on to lock on to mine. Might be able to do some uh, gun damage to him. They've run out of their 11-inch guns. The uh, the rune and the mic. Michelle. Sure, how you would pronounce it. Uh, no, all feet. Better fight. How are we doing? Doing fine. Oh, it looks like the. <laughs> mainline ships uh, focusing on the um, heavy cruisers as well. Healthy though. Ripping the rune to shreds. Pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, Santa Claus, that is the idea. A few bulkheads on the room. Yeah. And a torpedo going away. off on the West Fallen, uh, Pulton. I know you could maybe argue I'll go for the Friedrich de Grosse, but I think the West Fallen's a higher priority target. Oh, Holthy did get a hit on the rune. <laughs> Otherwise I think we're okay. Teuton and Albert coming back a bit. Habsburg, see if you can go after the the Worth. Or the Worth, I guess. I always think they should be kind of called the Roth, but uh, never doesn't seem to be quite right. Two torpedoes coming out from the heavy cruiser, though. Beautiful. Cause them a few, fair few problems, one would hope. 
I'm just going to see if I can get the bow launcher to shoot at the uh, Friedrich de Grosse. Heavy cruisers certainly uh, cause a fair old uh, distraction. Oh, no, they have their own torpedoes coming out from somewhere. Oh, St. Bolton. Alas, we barely knew you. You're dead anyway, but it <laughs> sank anyway. God damn it. Hopefully found a torpedo. She has, for the Westfallen. Nice. See if you can do that again. Let's get the time acceleration going again. Uh, beautiful. Nice little hit. And let's find another, another torpedo at it. Two. Oh, beautiful. Look at the horthy go. Uh, Michael is trying to reverse over the wreck of the Bismarck or what? He's kind of just sitting there. Firing on the Roth or Wolf. What is it? Worth? Don't know. <laughs> Ooh. No, I'll be getting uh, a flash fire of all things. I don't know what's going on with the Michael. It seems bugged. I don't seem to be able to actually hit it. Might it might just have to wait till the the wreck of the Bismarck goes away. Because I think the Hawthy should have sunk the Michael already. And put her on a retreat order. Hatsburg, meanwhile, gotten uh, very close to the <laughs> Worth, Roth. Broth? Verth? Verth. It might be Verth. Friedrich de Grosser sinks. Good. Yeah, there we go. They can, uh, they can shoot up the... Uh, Michael now. Torpedo going out from the whole thing. Don't know if that will hit though. No, it's it's a sinking Bismarck. Excellent. <coughs> We've got an interesting little duel here. Austria mm -mm -mm. Hungary pro proving itself to be the superior Germanic nation. Hmm. Yeah, that's just a bad angle. Throw some HE at them. Till I, uh, Oh! Ammo deck! Who did that? The Albert! Half belt! Exploded the ammunition! Oof! Yeah, they're done for. Look at that. Whole... A massive explosion. Took out pretty much the entire ship from here aft. All on fire.
good shot, the Albert. Yeah. And down she goes. Fire took over the ship. Well. Well, well, well. Let's have a look. Um, MVP is the Albert. Probably mostly due to that ammo debt. But again, look. That all or nothing scheme. Working. Really does work. Um, you know, just keep your citadel all right. Yeah, you take a little bit of damage, but overall, it's it's proven pretty good. Maybe not on a cruiser, but um, I mean, again, heavy cruisers got tagged by the big guns. Hmm. Uh, how did the Teuton fare? Yeah, very similar. Lack lack of damage. And the battle cruiser did fine as well. Yeah, pleased with that. Hmm. Look at that main gun accuracy on the Habsburg, though. 52%. That is crazy good. Of course, it didn't have any secondaries, but still. Um, that, that, that's very, very good. Uh, no. No, we shall not play again. Good sh good ships, good ships. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, those of you on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.